Hello, this is a, another screencast for the Getting Started page. If you ran into problems installing R, RStudio, and GitHub Desktop on your local computer, you can try these steps to uh, use the same tools in your web browser. And to do this, we're going to use a free service called RStudio uh, Cloud. RStudio.cloud is the address. So let's check out how this can work. Uh, we're back here on the Getting Started page, and I'm assuming you tried to do these first parts, install R and RStudio, and uh, get a github.com account, and install GitHub Desktop on your computer. And then before we start class, you were asked to test this pipeline. So if none of that worked for you, uh, for example, you might have a machine that uh, you couldn't install R or RStudio on, we can try this other method using RStudio Cloud and GitHub.com. So this is a video walkthrough of using this method. Uh, okay, so first of all, we need to create a free account with RStudio Cloud. Here's the link. And we can go to RStudio Cloud right here. And you'll sign up. It's free. Uh, I've signed up already. So I'm just going to log in. And let's do that, username and password. And when you log in, you will see some projects that you have saved here. You'll start off with without any projects when you have a new account. And we'll come back here in a moment. All right, the other step is to create a github.com account, which you may have already done. So here's github.com. You could sign up here for free. I'm going to sign in with uh, a test account that I have. And here's the landing page. The next step is to create a repository on github.com. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click the little icon on the right, go to repositories, select new repository, and um, let's call this psych stats R. You can call it what you want. Um, this will be the name of the repository and what uh, you could use this repository for is for the rest of the course where you'll be saving your assignments in it. So just give a little description. I'm going to add a readme file and click create. All right, here it is. And that is the first step. It's pretty simple. All that's happened now is we've basically made a folder on the cloud on github.com. It's called psychstatsr. And that's uh, a folder in your, uh, or a repository in your github.com account. So the next step here is to go and log into RStudio Cloud. What we're going to do is take this repository from GitHub and suck it into our Studio Cloud. So let's do that. We want to create a new project and select the option New Project from Git Repository. It asks for the URL of your Git repository. So we could go back there. The URL is right here. So I'm going to copy this and paste it and press OK. Now, um, what's happening is a new project is being prepared and deployed on RStudio Cloud. This takes 20 seconds, 30 seconds, maybe a little longer, depending on the load on the cloud servers. So we could just sit here and wait. It won't be too long. Maybe I can have a cup of coffee here. Hmm. All right. And we should have very soon our studio appearing in your web browser. So this is one way you can do this. And this is pretty cool. I mean, you could use our studio from any location in the world now, as long as you have access to a web browser. So um, notice we've made some new files here, project.rhistory.gitignore. 
and there's our readme file here. This is the same file that we made uh, in github.com. So it should say my assignment repo if we opened it up. And there it is, yeah. So it grabbed the stuff from GitHub and brought it in here. This is pretty cool. So there's a couple next steps. Um, in class, we're going to be creating new documents inside of our studio and saving them in the project folder. If you did that here, they would be saved in the project folder located on our studio cloud. Part of the class involves moving what you've saved either on our studio cloud or on your local machine to your github.com repository. So we need to learn how to do that. So first of all, let's, so this is basically like the testing the pipeline part from uh, the other screencast. What I'm gonna do is make a new file. We'll be using something called R Markdown documents in this course. And when you first load these up in the cloud, you're gonna get a couple messages. Here's the first one telling you, you need to install some additional packages. So you can click yes. It will look like uh, nothing is happening, but behind the scenes, uh, the package installation process is beginning. And it seems to take 20 to 30 seconds before you'll notice anything happening. Uh, let's keep waiting a little bit. And when you see the screen do this kind of stuff, uh, you'll be looking at a record of the package installation process. And once it starts, it goes pretty quickly. These packages are necessary to convert our document from one format into another. All right, so we're now ready to make the document. Uh, I'm just gonna press cancel and show you something real quick. Uh, if I go file, new file, R markdown, this is what I just did. However, now uh, it doesn't give me the message that I need to install packages anymore because I already did that. So in this process, we're going to give a title, um, we're gonna call this test, press okay. And here's the document right here. It's a text file. And we'll be learning how to make these text files and manipulate them. Then we can write uh, regular text and we can write R code we can run the R code. So this uh, piece of code um, loads in a little data file called cars and gives a summary of the data file. If you press the little play button, you can see what it does. And if I press knit, what's going to happen is um, the text and the code and the output of the code is going to be rendered into a document that's much nicer to look at to give this a, uh, a file name and save it to our RStudio Cloud folder. So I'm going to press save. And uh, I got a, this message. It tried to show me what it made as a pop-up window, but I've got that blocked. So I'm just going to press cancel. So what we see here is a file test.rmd. That's this one. It's being saved in our folder. And when we pressed knit, it made a new file called test.html. And this is a, a web file. So we could look at it in our browser. I'm just gonna click it, choose the option view in web browser. And here it is. As you can see, we're, we've got the text, some R code, the output of the R code, and uh, even a figure and stuff like that. All right, let's go back to our Studio Cloud. What we've done so far is created a GitHub repository with a single file in it called readme.md. We brought that repository into RStudio Cloud and we made some new files in RStudio Cloud. The new files are all the other ones in here. If we go back to the GitHub repository, you can see that it only has one file inside of it. So the new files on our studio have not been pushed to the files on github.com. They're two separate places. 
and we need to connect the uh, RStudio Cloud with your github.com account in order to push and pull these things back and forth. So let's do that. In order to do that, we need to follow these remaining steps right here. Okay, let's follow them. Go to RStudio, click Tools and Global Options. So Tools is right here. And global Options is right here. Click that. And we're looking for Git SVN. And that is down on the side here, Git SVN. The next step is to create the RSA key. So I'm going to click that and press Create. And I'm going to close this. All right. So we created, closed, and now we need to click View Public Key. So we're going to view the public key. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to close it. All right, now we have to go to GitHub and user settings and follow these steps. So I'm going to go to GitHub. I'm going to, uh, I, my, I'm not sure if my face is showing this. I mean, we need to go to this little icon here, click settings. All right, hopefully you can see that. And we will go down and find SSH keys. I'm going to delete this one. I made one before. Okay. We're now ready to make our SSH key. So let's do that. New SSH key. We're going to give it a title. And I'm going to copy it in there. Press add. Okay. We have finished that part. There's a few more steps. Okay, these steps all involve going back to RStudio Cloud and going to the Terminal tab. So let's go back to RStudio. And we'll talk more about this in class, but as you notice, there's four windows. One, two, three, four. The bottom left one has a Terminal tab. And we can write some commands in here. So the first thing is we need to copy this line, pop it in there, and replace your email with the email for um, that you're using on GitHub. So we've got the quotes, uh, leave the quotes there, replace the email address. That's the first thing. And then we're going to do another one like that. But we're going to change this to your name. I'm going to give the name uh, the name of my GitHub account. And then I've got one more thing to do. Copy this one in. And we have to change your username. To the name of your uh, GitHub account. So mine's BC Testmat. We want to change your repo to the name of the repository. And we can see that up here. It's the same one up here. Psych stats are psych, whoops, uh, S here. There we go. So once we have done those three things, we should be ready to be able to push these files in RStudio Cloud to the GitHub location. Let's see if it works. You can go to the Git tab right here. And what this tab will show you is a list of new files or changes to old files. So we could see there's a few files here. And um, these files have, are new or ha they have been changed. So remember, we made test.rnd, so that's a new file. And we made test.html, that's a new file. We'd like to uh, 
take these new files and push them to github.com. And in order to do that, there's a few steps to follow. The first thing we need to do is commit what's called commit our changes. So we can press commit and we're going to have to click all the files we want to commit. I'm not, oh, that shouldn't be too large. Well, let's see, let's see if we, let's see if this is okay. So we're going to um, uh, stage those and give a little message here. First commit. All right, and press close. So notice these files have disappeared from the uh, list of things that have changes. There's um, no new things that we did and there's no new changes. We've got a little message here. It's a little bit difficult to see. It says your branch is ahead of origin main by one commit. Origin main is the location on github.com. The next thing we can do is press the push button. So let's press that. Uh, well, I'm getting a message. I'm pressing yes. I hope this works. Let's see. I'm not. This is actually the first time I've tried to do this. I'm fingers crossed. This is going to be successful. So I've got this message. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get more message here. I'm going to go back to GitHub and see what's going on. Let's go to the repository that we just made. Here it is. And, oh, this is neat. So we can see that the files, like test RMD, are now over here on github.com. So I'm gonna close this. So this is pretty cool. So um, essentially this is the end of the tutorial. We've got this figured out. I wanna give you one more example, just, just to show you. Um, I made some changes. So this could be an example of you editing your document. I just deleted some of the text in this document and I saved it. And now you can see in the Git tab again, this file test.rmd is appearing again because I made some changes to it. So I could click stage, click commit. I'm gonna say some edits going to press commit and close. I just want to show you one more time. Um, we'll need to push these changes to GitHub. So currently on our studio, this file says I made some changes here. If we go to github.com and look at this file, it doesn't say that yet. I've committed the changes on RStudio Cloud. Now I need to push them. Now when I reload the page on GitHub, those changes have been made. Okay. So um, throughout this course, you will be, if you're using RStudio Cloud, you'll be making new files and folders in this project. You'll be committing your changes and pushing them to github.com. Then when you are submitting an assignment, you will submit the URL from github.com um, on Blackboard. And that way I can find it and look at it and uh, grade it and help you with any work you're doing. All right, that's it. Um, we'll see you in next class.